Hiya, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to share with you 10 things I have learnt since joining booktube. I am nearly approaching my year anniversary which I can't quite believe, I can't believe I've been on booktube for a year and I've been uploading consistently two videos a week except with the exception of Christmas so I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for that because it's not easy people. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I'm going to launch into the 10 things I've learnt because I feel like it's something I would have wanted to watch if I was new and also, yeah, so yeah. The first thing that I'm going to say, I've got, I've got a little list of notes I've been organised, is um, newbie, newbie tag. Um, this isn't an essential thing that you have to do, but if, you're, if you guys are new to booktube, I feel like there is a massive community of people that watch the newbie tags and they sort of welcome you, they'll welcome you into the community so if you are new and you haven't done the newbie tag you don't actually have to because there are lots of my friends that haven't, don't, haven't necessarily done it but it is useful if you are to get people to find your channel and it's just like a big hug that's what it is, the newbie tag is like a big hug You can feel, it's good practice for like filming and um, once you've done it it feels like yeah, the community come and give you a big hug and welcome you because the booktube community is awesome so. That is one thing I'd recommend, doing the booktube newbie tag. <laughs> Number two, find your tribe. This is what I put myself. <laughs> and basically from that it, I mean, by that I mean, um, go and like, try, like, it's not again, none of these things are essential, but try and find friends, uh, whether it's through book Twitter, whether it's through um, bookstagram, um, both of those like communities are amazing. Also, what I personally did to start with was I watched other newbie tags because there'll be people that have, people that have recently uploaded the same sort of time as you and I found that really helpful. That's how I found Shireen from Shireen Bins, Maria from Emma H Books, uh, Gaia, Gaia Athena and Julia from Julia's Book Time. That's how I found their channels. Like We all uploaded similar times and I watched and commented on their videos and they're still people that I'm friends with now. I love them so, so much. I'll link them in the description. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just um, I feel like that's a good way. If you watch other people's newbie tags, that's a good way of, of doing it. Um, and just another thing, just by watching other people's, generally watching other people's that you love channels, which I'm sure you guys already do, and just commenting on them, because I feel like that's another good way of people finding your channel. Because for me personally, people that regularly co regularly comment on my videos, um, I do go and check out their channels. So whether they have got like hardly any subscribers or they've got loads of subscribers so yeah that is what I say find your tribe and also all the friendships that I personally have made on here have been so essential to me and they definitely keep you going um all my friends that are out there I love you all so so much I can't possibly name you all you know who you are I love you all so so much and you mean the world to me I would be lost without you and I don't think I could do it so yeah find your tribe is something I definitely think is true Number three I've got is sunlight is your friend or slash lighting. So um, I feel like when I started, I was this was something I was so rubbish at. I was not really aware of it. I tried my best to be fair, as I'm sure lots of you will do. If you, lots of you probably do better than I did, um, but yeah, I definitely try and get some sort of lighting situation, whether it's by going near a window because this is that's free. Like um, sunlight and being outside slash being near a window is all free. You don't need to have lighting. Um, and I've got recent, it's only recently, even though this lighting isn't the best, but this is something I'm going to be working on. Um, I've got a box light that was like 20 quid on Amazon, so it doesn't have to be expensive. Lots of people spend lots of more money on that, and it is something I'm going to work on myself, but um, yeah. Definitely think that having good lighting does help, and it will help people see you, because if people can see you, they're more likely to watch you. So, these are all obvious things, I'm sorry. Number four read-alongs slash read-a-thons. One of the first things I did with my channel, like not my channel, <laughs> one of the first things I did uh, when I started was I, I participated in the wit read-along which is women in translation and I think I also did um, the fall into read-a-thon in the autumn, both of which were really good because I feel like again they get you feeling like you're, that you're part more part of the community and I just think it, those things help you keep you going with your channel well, for me personally plus as well it's fun and you get to just like yeah interact with people so definitely recommend participating in a read-along or a read-a-thon there's always them there's so many going on all the time like um so there's 
nearly every month there's like I think I'm sure every month there is a readathon going on so highly recommend that <laughs> um yeah so definitely recommend that number five is I've got oh yeah make use of all the free apps that are out there um for your phone like whether it's to make help you make thumbnails or there's like um so there's like pick monkey and canva and numerous other free thumbnail apps that'll help make your um like streamline your channel make everything look a bit more professional i mean you don't have to do in it this don't get me wrong you don't have to do this but it's just nicer and it kind of gives you like your channel a little bit more identity i guess there's also um the creator app which i feel like most people know about but not everybody might know about um, and there's a new one that I've recently got, which I can't remember the name of, but I'll put it across the screen. Um, I've recently downloaded it, and that can help sort of, like, tells you, like, milestones and stuff, which is quite motivating. So, yeah, I'd make use of all the free apps that you possibly can. And that, as I, I'm saying this, if any of you guys have got recommendations for free apps for everyone else, we can all help ourselves and help each other by putting them in the comments below. So, I highly, um, if any of you guys are watching the YouTube, booktubers, YouTubers, help out everyone out and put it in the comments below if you've got any suggestions. Um, number um, six I've put is planning slash notebooks. Now making use of all of these things I've been that that has been like a big help and um, because I feel like when you um, have like jotting, jot, jotting ideas down on paper so as soon as because I often you have like me I have do two videos a week I'd post on Wednesdays and Sundays which um, so I feel like I always want to make sure everything's planned and organised so I know what's going to be on my channel. You might be just upload like like once a week or once a month or whatever but still having a notebook and putting ideas down is key and I feel like the more you can plan the more helpful it is. So I highly highly recommend doing that. I personally have um, like two kinds of systems going on. I have like a jotting notebook that I have put, actually quite a lot of notebooks actually. I have like a jotting notebook that I put ideas down predominantly and then I also have like a like a little like dated planner that I, I sched like write in scheduled content that I'm going to plan on doing because again that helps me define what personally and what I'm doing it personally helps me a lot again this might not work for all of you but I feel like it's worth worth noting and it makes my life easier so that's why I'm telling you obviously um number um seven I've got expect your t your your TBR to grow to grow slash libraries are your friend now this is kind of ex self-explanatory the more you watch um go on watch start watching booktube um if you haven't already i guess your your tbr just does just grow because i remember at the beginning like obviously i was before i started booktube i was watching booktube a little um um not as much as i do now i've watched booktube a lot more now but um yeah and i feel like yeah at the start i was like oh i've got like 10 books i want to read and now i'm like I've got like 500 books I want to read. Obviously I don't have to read all of these books and none of this is important but yeah. Expect your TBR to grow. It will happen just so you know. And make use of libraries because the libraries are amazing. I talk about libraries quite a lot on my channel. Um, it's just an easy way of accessing free books. Um, and you can get audio books with, with, with libraries. There's, um, we've got In the UK we've got this thing called BorrowBox. So if you're in the UK that's something you can check with your local library system has and um, which is amazing um, and um, so that's completely free um, and also obviously like I said libraries are amazing so yeah make use of the libraries because it'll help with your growing TBR um, the next thing I've put is um, learn from your community now again this is kind of obvious but when you watch people I feel like my time, over my time on this last year on YouTube, I've learnt so much from the people that I watch, whether it's um, like physically, like whether it's practically with videos like kind of like this one, or whether it's my point to view like about certain issues, like with topics, because obviously books discuss serious issues and not so serious issues, but I feel like yeah, just be open-minded to learn from the people that you watch. So that is what I will say, yeah, because I feel like that does help, like, and you grow and you learn, and, yeah, just learn from your community. Um, it is amazing. I love BookTube community so, so much, <laughs> so um, I'm grateful for everybody that has influenced and changed me as a person. Gen genuinely, I genuinely mean that. 
Number nine, I put there will be um it's like kind of like a roller coaster, and um, there will be ups and downs. Like kind of just like expect that. I'm sure most of you do do are aware of this. I was I was aware of it, but I wasn't aware quite how confronting, like filming myself and putting it online, like as regularly as I do, like would be because sometimes there are times um when you just don't. Well, me personally, I just haven't really wanted to film, but because I've got myself in this schedule which has helped me don't get me wrong um, and it has been a good thing for me but it's been it's very confronting and I feel like watch it like having to film yourself when you're feeling a bit low isn't always easy but um and also then watching yourself isn't easy to start with when you if you're not like either which isn't it is just not easy and also sometimes you'll get really really high and excited from videos and then say your next video doesn't do as well and you'll grow down low there's loads, so many ups and downs with this, it just, it's hard to even be it, to, it, to know how to deal with it, but, and I don't think you can actually prepare yourself, but be gentle with yourself, give yourself a hug, because it's not always going to be easy, so, yeah, that is one thing. Um, and the last thing I've got is just to have fun, um, I feel like I've had so much fun this last year, I've made so many amazing friends, I've had the best time like participating in all the things that I have and just love having my channel I love talking to you guys it's been the best thing ever so I just recommend all of you if you've got new channels just try and enjoy yourself as much as you can because it's just the best thing ever being on booktube has been one of the best things ever I just love it so so much with all my heart and yeah so yeah, that's the bit that, that is the thing I would say have fun so thank you guys for watching um I hope that um, I've helped a little bit, like, and it hasn't been too prattly, as I'm sure it has. Um, yeah, take care, you guys. If you're new to my channel, as I said, I post videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. So if you are new, that is when you'll find me. And take care. Sending you lots of love.